So, uh, yeah, it's me again. So today I'm going to explain the strict equality operator, which is represented by three equal signs. Before we dive in, let me make a few important distinctions. A single equal sign is the assignment operator. You usually see it when you assign a value to a variable. The comparison operator, two equal signs, is used to compare two values to see if they're equal. Now, the strict equality operator has a whopping three equal signs. It not only compares if two values are equal, but if they have the same data type as well. Let me give you a demonstration. Suppose we have a constant named pi. Pi equals 3.14. Pi in my example has a data type of number. I'll create an if statement. We will check if pi is equal to the string 3.14. If it is, let's console.log that is pi else we will console.log that is not pi is the number 3.14 equal to the string 3.14 well according to javascript that is pi that's because we're using the comparison operator we don't care about the data type we only care about the value are the values equal now if i was using the strict equality operator which is three equal signs well then JavaScript tells me that this is not pi because with the strict equality operator, not only do we compare the values, but we also compare the data types as well. These values are both 3.14, but this one is a number data type and we're comparing it to a string, so they don't match technically. If we were strictly comparing the number 3.14 to the number 3.14, well then we have a match, that is pi. One case where this is pretty helpful is when you accept user input, because user input tends to be a string data type. And then just as an extra measure, you can use the strict equality operator and then be sure that the value is a number data type. There's also the inequality operator. It will return true if two values are not equal. So let's take... Shut up. This time we will examine if pi does not equal the string 3.14. If these are not equal, this condition will evaluate to be true. So this is not pi, else this is pi. Is the number 3.14 not equal to the string 3.14? Well, that is pi still. Using the inequality operator, these values are still the same. The inequality operator will return false. Then there's the strict inequality operator, an exclamation point and two equal signs. Are the values or the data type different? So in this example, that is not pi. They have the same values, but the data type is different. If I turned my variable pi into a string, well, that is pi now. The string 3.14 stored within pi does equal the string 3.14. So this condition turns out to be false. So we execute the else statement. It might take you a little bit of time to get used to this, and that's okay. It is a little odd. But just in case you see these in the future, you'll at least be familiar with them. From now on, we will try and use the strict equality operator if we can. And well, everybody, that is the strict equality operator, and I guess, well, the inequality operator and strict inequality operator in JavaScript.